what we'll do is I'm going to take you through just a, a full blown tutorial of everything that you'll need ever. Like there's only a few, there's only a few things that you'll ever need. This right here is obviously one of them. So let's, what, what, what we do is we will create a folder at the top. So at the top of the bookmarks, create a folder. Like, can you go to the very, very top where you have all those bookmarks and just go to the very right and click, no, no down, down in the empty space. Yeah. Right click, right. No, to the left. See if you can right click right there to the right. Right here. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. You're going to add folder. So go ahead and down, add, down, 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 add folder. Add folder. Oh, okay, okay. ads manager. Let's name this one ads manager. Perfect, safe. Okay, cool. So this is going to be the first one. We're going to bookmark this page. Let's call this one the dashboard. This is dashboard. And and some of this stuff maybe maybe, you know, um, you already know, but but there's gonna be a lot that you, that you, that you haven't saved yet. So let's name this, save this one. This is dashboard, and let's put that in the ads manager folder. No, yes, put it in, right in the ads manager folder, not the bookmarks bar. So put in the ads manager folder. Perfect. And rename it. Rename it. Rename it. You got to name it. Rename it. So go back, right click, and just hit edit. Yeah, just open it up. No, 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 no. O open up the. Just go to the folder. Go down and right click over that bookmark. So right click down, down, down. Yeah, don't click oh, click on it, but don't click on the bookmark. Click on it. Go down. No, you're gonna hover over right there. Right click, right click, right click, and go to. No, you're you're left clicking. So right click. You got to rename it. So click on it. No, 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 no. You're not renaming the folder. Care. You're, you're, you're renaming the bookmark. So click on it and go down right there. 14 ads manager, right click right there. Rename that shit. That's not the right name. So right click. I don't have a, a right click on my uh, laptop. Do you have, um, okay, well then shit, just, um, unstar it then unstar, it, remove the bookmark and we'll just do it again. So hit that blue star at the top and remove. Okay, do it again. So hit the blue, hit the star and let's rename it. So this one's dashboard. So delete that, delete that dashboard. This is the dashboard. Yeah, these bookmarks are gonna come in handy for you because this is all you'll ever need are the bookmarks. So click on done. Okay, so that's the dashboard. Now click on the dots to the left. Dots to the left. The dots to the very left, the square, those dots to the very, very left, right there, down, down, right there, down, no, down, down, right there. Click on that, and then we're going to go to, we're going to go to billing. You always got to know the billing as well. So know what card is on file, know what date you're being billed. That's super important. You don't want to just wake up to a surprise charge from Facebook. So click on payment settings and just bookmark this page as well. Book pay, payment settings, click on payment settings to the right. Oh. Yeah, payment settings. And know your billing date. Know what card you have on file. Know the billing date. There's American Express. There's our billing date. Bookmark this page. Name it billing. This is billing. Okay, perfect. So go ahead and hit done. And then um, perfect. So now what we'll do is hit the dots again to the left. And then now let's go to let's go to business settings let's make sure everything is set up correctly in the settings and all we're going to do is we're going to double check a few tabs so go to go to pages click on pages and just bookmark this because as you start to request access to all your clients you're going to want to be able to get to this part right away click on um actually what did you name it Unstar it, unstar it, and do it again. It's name this one pages. Perfect. And then and then click on add accounts. Bookmark that one too. Add accounts down to the left. Right there, down, add accounts. Perfect. Okay, cool. So this one's gonna be add accounts. 
Okay, perfect. So we're good there. We're good there. And then if you scroll down, do you, do you have an Instagram account? No. Okay. So, okay. So we don't need to worry about that. Okay, perfect. So then click on the dots at the top, the square. And then let's go to, so we got business settings. We got the ads manager. Let's go to, let's go to audiences and then we'll go to events manager, but let's go to actually, you know what? Go to, go to ad account settings at the very top, ad account settings. Click on that one because this is very, very important. You want to, you want to know this, this information right here. This is most important. If you ever, you can, you're going to always reach out to me. Like if you ever need anything, you can always reach out, to, reach out to me, whether it's Kartra, whether it's a Facebook ad, whatever, like it's only these initial calls that we got to get through. And then after that, I'll be here no matter what. But right. sometimes if I can't answer a question, sometimes some random shit happens sometimes with Facebook and you'll have to reach out to them. Like sometimes like, like my last client, her shit got hacked and I, I was trying to figure out the damn thing, but then now I had to refer, I had to say, Hey man, you have to reach out to Facebook in this case. So if you ever have to reach out to Facebook, those two numbers are the most important. Your ad account ID number, the 306, and the business ads manager account number, which is the 1131. So oh, okay. bookmark this page. So if you ever reach out to Facebook, if you ever email Facebook, they're going to want to know the ad account ID number and or they're going to want to know the business ID number. And those are the two numbers. Business manager, business manager. Yeah, business manager ID. So account ID and business manager ID. Yeah. Perfect. So hit done. So those two numbers are the most important. Um, also, what we want to do is go back, go back to the business settings. What I want you to do is I want you to verify your email because that's going to be very, very important. So go back to business settings and then, and then to the left, you'll scroll down and you'll go to business info, business info at the bottom. Perfect. Click on that one. And then you have all that right there. Okay, cool. Okay. So scroll down. Did you already verify? I think, your... I, I, think I, I verified it, but let's check. Scroll down. Yeah. Yeah. You did. You did. You did. It's that email right there. Perfect. Okay. So you're good. You're good with this one. Okay, good. Okay. So now, now let's click on um, the dots again and let's go back. We, we were at, um, we were, we is there were, anything that I need to do with pixel here? We're going to get there. We're going to get there for sure. Okay. Let's click on. So we already got the ad accounts. We got the number perfect. So now let's click on audiences. I'm going to have you bookmark this over here real quick. Um, Okay, so bookmark this. This is custom audiences. You always want to be able to get to this part right away. So custom audiences. Perfect. And then hit done. Okay, cool. So this is your custom audiences. We'll start working on these custom audiences as well for sure. This is where and 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 just just to let you know, like when it comes to Facebook ads, this is what most people don't, don't even care to even talk about like the most as far as someone that's trying to teach someone something. When it comes to Facebook ads, a lot of people think you can just run an ad and, and a shitload of leads are going to come in. It doesn't always happen that way at all at all. Where 99% where of your leads are going to come in from is when you're retargeting your custom audiences. And a custom audience will be people who either watch your videos or people that land on your pages. So if I'm running an ad and they click learn more and they go to my landing page, I'm running an ad for an insurance agent and they're trying to capture leads. We're trying to capture leads. They see the ad, they click on the ad on Facebook, they go to the landing page, but they don't fill out the form. That's a custom audience. That's what you're going to be doing a lot of. That's why Kartra is so well, if I run, If I run, let's say for five agents, Mm -hmm. And I would have, I'm assuming, five different customer audiences. Even yeah, but they're not, they're not at all right here at all, at all. They're going to be in their own ad accounts. Okay, okay, yeah. all right. Okay, so this is specific. This is only for Royal Media Marketing ad account. Everyone's going to have their own ad account. Everyone's going to have their own audiences. Okay? Okay. So when it comes to yours, this is for your Karcher page only. So, so because that one pixel has to go on your page. Everyone has their own pixel. Everyone has their own ad account. So, so, but what I'm saying is the custom audiences. You'll be creating custom audiences around those who are landing on your landing page. 
that's a website visitor. And then you'll create other custom audiences of people who land on the thank you page. Those are people who go to your landing page, fill out the form, and then go to the thank you page, right? Like they, they, that's a lead. So whoever lands on the thank you page, like, let me just share, let me just share my screen. Stop share, come to my page real quick. So here's an example. This right here, let's say, let's say I'm a real estate agent and I'm running an ad for a house that I have for sale. They see the Facebook ad, they click on learn more, they come to this one page. My Facebook pixel is on the page. So people who land here is a custom audience. People that land here and don't fill out the form, so they come here, but they don't put in their name and email. That's a custom audience. That's a custom audience. Another custom audience are people that come here, they like what they see, they put their name and email, send me the details, they then come to the thank you page. This is the thank you page. My Facebook pixel is also on this page. There's only two pages, the landing page, the thank you page. Both pages are custom audiences. So, so the landing page, custom audience, web page view, visitors only. They never fill out the form. Second custom audience are people that land here. That custom audience are leads. But if they're your leads, what do you do with them if they already become your leads? If now, they already they're, now they're in a custom audience. So here's why this is so important. Because as I go run my next Facebook ad, I'm going to exclude this audience from seeing it. You were breaking up. I didn't hear you. As the reason why th these need to be set up as custom audiences is because those who land on the, on the, on the landing page, but they don't fill it out. That's a custom audience. Okay. Those are, that's an audience that I'm going to always retarget in the future. So every ad, from this point on, my second ad, my oh, third yes. ad. You, you, oh, I understand. So you can exclude ones who already land here. Yes, 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 yes. So, okay, so when you fill out the form and you actually click the <laughs> yellow button and you land over here, you filled it out, you are a lead. Now, I have everyone coming to this page <gasps> in a custom audience. And yes, every ad from that point on, I'm going to exclude this audience. I understand. <clears throat> make, make sense? Yep. So, right. so, so what I'm saying though, what I'm saying is that that's where all the magic is at. The magic is in your custom audiences. Go ahead and share your screen. The magic is when you can start creating these custom audiences. The, the, the two biggest audiences, the reason why custom audiences are so important, because this is where 99% of your ROI is going to come from, is when you're creating custom audiences and retargeting everyone who lands on the landing page but never filled it out. And when you're creating custom audiences of everyone who's watching your videos. So if your clients are going to start running Facebook video ads, let's say they do a video talking about life insurance and it's a two-minute video you're going to create a custom audience of everyone who watches at least one minute of it. And on that video ad, you can always, <clears throat> yes, you can like a call, like a the, the, the call to action button, like a, to learn more or whatever. Oh yeah. Schedule. Yeah. There's to learn more on every ad, every ad. Know. But, but what I'm saying is that the audience, so if someone watches a Facebook video ad, mm -hmm. it's two minutes and they watch one minute of it. That's an okay. audience. Yes, yes. That's so who I would set up right here. So I would click on the, the blue button. I would click on create audience. And, and we won't do that yet. We'll get to that on, on our next call. But, but I wanted you to bookmark this page just, just so you have it right away. But yes, what I'm, no, leave it there. Leave it there. Don't click. Don't, don't do nothing. But what I'm saying is that this is where your ROI is at. So it's not, okay. not going to be on the front end just running one ad. You're going to start capturing leads when these clients of yours can run ads every week, when you can run an ad every week and that's what they're paying you for. So they're not paying you to run one ad in your case. They're, they're bringing you on as a monthly partner to run ads for them every month, which I, which what I would do is I would have them run a, run an ad every week. So a new ad is running every week, four times a month. And so what you're going to be doing is you're going to be creating audiences of everything, creating audiences of everyone who's watching their video, and creating audiences of everyone who lands on their on their on their on their landing page, but they they never fill out the form. Okay, I understand. So how many basically, like in, in average, how many ads you would run 
for a, for a client. Like one every Santa. week. I would. I, I said. What's that? Yeah, you send one every week, but is that like a, which means like every every second week, do I turn one off and then I start new ad with the same yeah, budget? Yeah, yes, yes, I keep... yes. You can, you can, you can, you can turn it off, and it, it all depends on how it's doing. So it, we'll, we're going to get into the, into the full blown setup of it all on, on on our fourth call, but it just depends on how well that ad is doing. If that ad is not doing as well as it should be, and it's already been seven days, turn it off and run another one. So in the, in the mindset of the client, I'm, I'm just always telling them to do a new video every week. That's all they need to know. Just do a new video if, if they're doing video. Some of them are not going to want to do video. But, but those are the only type of clients that I take on. I only take on clients that do video. I don't do, I don't do any other client. Now, you can do whatever you want, but I'm just telling you right now, if, if a person is not willing to do video, I wouldn't take them on as a client. Because especially in life insurance, in life, what are you going to do? Run an ad on an image, an image of what? So how are you going to be able to get the attention of the audience when you're running a random ass image of, of what? Right? Like, yeah. and that's why with real estate yeah. agent, what you're going to do an image. Okay. You're doing an image of a house. I seen an ad of a house 3 million times. So what separates you from the other 2 million real estate agents? You're running an ad of a freaking house. Now, if it's a house that you're selling, okay, great. Yeah, that's fine. But what if it's not a house and you're just running an ad just to run an ad to capture leads, but you're running an image ad on a house when it's not even your house for sale, but you're just trying to capture a lead? That makes no sense to me. That's why it's harder that way. So in your case, you got to find out what the hell would you even run? Like if you're not going to do a video, Mr. Client, what are we going to run? An image of what? Your life insurance. What can you show? What are you going to show me? A, a, a picture of two people in a suit shaking hands? Like, what, do you, what, what is there to show me? That's why video is so important, man. Take on clients yeah. that are willing to do video of themselves. Say, of course. Yeah. You know? So, so to answer your question, I just get them in the habit and I mentally prepare them for a new video every week. So if it's every Friday, okay, great. Have a new video every Friday. Upload it to your business page. That's what I have them do. That's all I have them do. Your only job, Mr. Client, is to upload a video every Friday or Monday or Tuesday, whatever. Pick your day. Let's say it's every Friday. Your only job, Mr. Client, I'm going to take care of everything else. Your only job is to upload a new video on your Facebook business page every Friday by 6 a.m. That's our plan. That would be basically like a educational video. Nothing, nothing. Educational video with a call to action at the end. So, so what you want to do with these clients is you want to, you, and, and you know this because you're in the industry, you want to be able to give away something for free. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So that PDF, a free download, a free you know, information package on life insurance, that's what you okay. want to be giving away. Exactly. That's what they do. Like that's so, that, so, uh, it's yeah. free information. For, Perfect. For that's free. the call to action. So, so all you're going to do is you're going to tell them, hey, do your two-minute video talking about a, a, a tip or talking about education, something educating them on life insurance, something we don't know, or five tips or whatever. And at the end of the video, the call to action is to, is to say, hey, and by the way, you guys, <laughs> click learn more to download your free PDF. In this PDF, we talk about the best terms of life insurance you can possibly have for you and your family. Click learn more. It'll take you straight to our page where you can download your free copy. See you guys soon. So all I tell the client is your job is to make a video every week, Friday at 6 a.m., upload it to the page, and at the end of the video, make sure you say that. To click learn more, to download your free copy. That is it. So Oh, okay. on, so our, basically, on your end, sometimes you'll need that video for the second week. Sometimes you won't need to run it right away on the second week because the first week you're capturing leads and that video is doing very well. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Oh, okay, okay, great. Okay, so, okay perfect. Yeah, but, makes sense. But, but the mindset of the client, I don't yeah, want just, them thinking that. I don't want them thinking, okay, let's see how this ad goes and then maybe, maybe I'll do another video. No, dude, no. I need you to do a video every week. Okay, I, I, got, I understand perfectly, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so that video so, ad will take them to the landing page, which will, I mean, they will leave their info. So that landing page will be from Cartra, right? Yes, yes, yes.
Okay, so we're gonna work on that next time, I guess. Yes, for sure, for sure. So right here, I just want I want you to bookmark this. Let's go to another one. Hit the um, hit the hit the dots to the left, and then let's click on Events Manager. Events Manager is where we get our pixel. It's where we also set up our custom conversion. So okay. right here, this time I'm un unfamiliar with this. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll 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 help you with all this stuff. So in the top right, that green, that green button, click on that and you're going to click on, yeah, click on the green one. Create. create. Yeah. Create. And you're going to go to actually, actually yours is not there. So go ahead and go ahead and, um, yeah, see so your pixel, your pixel hasn't been, hasn't been set up yet, which is, which is fine. So what we'll do is we will go to click on, is, is is at the bottom of the page? Can you go any lower than that? Click on upload. No, down, down. Upload events. Okay, so you got to accept. So go ahead and accept this. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's what we got to do first. So go ahead and accept this. Okay, perfect. So now let's, let's get out of here. X out of this. And let's just, yeah. Um, X out of that. Just X out. Yeah, cancel. Yeah, X. Hmm. Just go to um, back to uploads, or is that taking us back here? Yeah, we got to get out of this page. Okay, perfect. So try refreshing this real quick. Hit refresh. Garage style collector, and that's fine. So why don't you rename it? Rename it Royal Media Marketing. Okay, so hit that right edit. Up. Garage style collector. Hit that edit. No, the pencil to the in the top up right there. Let's n rename it. Royal Media Marketing. Perfect. Okay, so this is your pixel. So go ahead and click on save. Actually, you don't have to put pixel. Just put Royal Media Marketing. Perfect. Hit save. Okay, this is your pixel. So you go to continue pixel setup. Now we're not going to be able to do it. Actually, you have, you have the Karcher one, but we're going to do this on, on another call. We won't do it right here. But you'll install code manually, and then you'll get the code, and then you'll paste it into the Karcher page, which I'll show you how to do. But just X out of this one. Let's bookmark this right here. X out of this, bookmark this, and it's going to be Pixel. Perfect, 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 perfect. Okay, so Pixel. Hit Done. And then we have one more. So click on the blue triangle to the left, and you're going to click on Custom Conversions. And we're not going to be able to do it yet until we until we add the pixel onto the Karcher pages. But bookmark this just so we have this one. So this one's going to be custom conversions. And without this part, you're not going to capture leads. So that's why this right here is the most important. But we have to we have to add the pixel to the pages first, and we'll do that on the next call. So let's so look, at, look at that we'll, folder. Yeah, go ahead. Look at the folder. Click on the folder as manager. Let's see what we got in there. To the right, no, to the right, that, in the bookmarks bar. So let's look at everything we got. Yeah, right here? On, no, 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 the, the folder. Click on the folder. Ads manager, right there. Okay, so we got the dashboard, the billing, the pages, the ad accounts, the, um, the ad account business manager ID, the custom audience, the pixel, and the custom conversion. That right there, my friend, is everything you're going to need. That's it. Like, there ain't nothing else. There ain't nothing else. Um, now... One thing you do want to set up is the business settings. Let's, we didn't save the business settings for some reason. Actually, it's under pages. You have it under pages. Let's go to, let's, yeah, click on pages. And I'm going to have you bookmark one last one, which is, which is right here. But I'm going to, I'm going to name it, um, click, on, click on users. Click on users right there to the left, users. Click on people. And let's just bookmark it from here as well. Let's bookmark it from here. And let's call this one business settings. It's right there. So just, yeah, business settings. Perfect. And that's it. And then on this, on this one down, D David Cantero, just click that drop down and just delete that one. Or he can hit the trash can. So, so when I'm done with someone's account, that's what I'll do. If, it's just, if I just request access to the business page, I just do that and I just get rid of the page because I don't want to be tied to their business page anymore if I'm not working with them anymore. So that's how I do it. Or I could tell them to go back to their page roles and click remove. 
So the same way that I, I clicked on respond to request to give you access, now I can go back. In fact, let me just show you. So, so go ahead and shot, uh, stop sharing. So now if we're no longer working together, I can do it that way on my end. And I can also tell you to go back to your business page, click on settings to the left. Can you see my screen? Yep. Okay. And then I go to page roles. And then all I do is I come down and I can click on remove. So right here where it says agencies, we should see yes, it yes, yes. right there. And I just click remove. So okay. now, oh. now I wouldn't be tied to that page anymore. All right. Perfect. So let yeah. me just do a quick recap. Well, let me Go just share your screen. Yep. Okay. All right, so basically, uh, I do everything from here, even when I want to access to other ads managers. Yes. Ads account. So whatever we did here with uh, ads manager folder, billing page, do I need to do that on each, with each client, uh, on their business manager? No, no, you don't. Good question. No. Very, very good question. Once you're, once you're in their ad account, because I'm the one who's going to be setting up everything for them, even business managers. Because most of my, yes. let's say, first 10, 20 of my clients, mm -hmm. I know that, in fact, they, they have only personal page. So from personal, mm -hmm. their personal page, I will be setting up, creating the, the, the business manager and uh, ads account, ad, ad account. Yes. And all that. So when I'm doing that, I don't need to be worrying about uh, pages, ads account, the custom audience, pixel, or do I? No, you don't know because you're not going to bookmark it for them on their computer, right? So, but once you're logged into their account, so if you're logged in to their ad account and, and now you're in, in their ad account, you can just go to your folder and click on any of those and it's going to take you straight to their custom audience or it's going to take you straight to their pixel. So those are, those are universal. These bookmarks, as long as you're in their, their account, you're going to be able to access all that information by just clicking on your folder. Oh, I see. Okay, great. Perfect. So yeah, so that right there, bookmarking everything makes it super easy because that's wow. all you're going to need. You're not going to need nothing else. <clears throat> all right. So basically I don't need, I mean, let's say with, with, with my first few clients, I don't need access to page. I mean, business page, I would need access to ads manager. Because to I the ad account. Up, to ad account. Yes. 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 All right. So once I set up business manager and add account on their page, I just need access from mine to theirs. And then I start running the ad. Let, let's say, let's say, let's say you, let's say you just created a new business, a new ad account, or let's say you created a, let's say you, let's say, let's say you just created a new business page for me. I'm your client. I only have my personal Facebook page but you just created a new business page so I can start marketing my business. You created a business yeah. page for me, right? Okay. What you're going to do now is you're going to now go into my, into my business page because you have access to it and you're going to set up a new ad account because I don't have an ad account yet, right? I don't have an ad account yet. Question, question, quick question. Mm -hmm. So once you have a, your personal page, and if you wanna have a business page, do you uh, do you have to have a business manager, or no? Or you can just create from your personal page, business page. You could just create from your yeah. So these clients, you're not gonna they're not gonna need a business manager. You need a business manager because you're managing other people's pages. So you oh, so they don't need business manager. No, they just need ads manager. That's all they need. That's why you don't need to set. That's why theirs may look a little different. You're not going to have a full-blown business suite. You have a full-blown business manager, but 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 they're not. They're going to just have an okay. ads manager. Let's and go back. Okay, so let's go back. All right, right. So you just have, like, you are my new client. You are the insurance agent, and you have just your personal page, David Pontero personal page, nothing else. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I have whatever I have here. So what do I do for you? <laughs> So you're going to go into my business page and you're going to go to my ads manager. So it's going to look just like this similar. It's just not going to have every, you're not going to have um, uh, some of the features, but it looks just like this. You're going to go into my ads manager just like this and you're going to okay. set up an ad account. Okay. 
and then you're going to set up my pixel and then you're going to set up my custom audiences and you're going to set up my custom conversion. You're going to do all that inside of my account. Now you're not going to bookmark everything cause you're, you don't, you're not yeah, on my yeah. computer, okay. right. but all that shit right there, you're going to set up, you're going to set up my billing. You're going to make sure my credit card is on file. You're going to, you're going to make sure that my name is tied to my business page right there in pages. You're going to make sure I know my ad account ID number. So everything you just bookmarked is exactly what you're going to be setting up for that client. Oh, okay. Okay. That's, that's a question as well. Okay. Yes. Perfect. So you you're setting up their business page. It, but, uh, uh, you're, you're setting up their new business page and you're setting up all of those bookmarks right there. Perfect. Now I have better picture. Okay. Even though I don't even know, I know how to do billing. I know how to do a few things, but when I come to the custom conversions. Oh no, we're going to set up all that shit. I just wanted you to bookmark everything. And I wanted you to see from yeah. this view where we're going to spend our time. Perfectly. So yes, on our yes. next call, we're going to set up custom audience on our next call. We're going to install the pixel on our next call. We're going to set up the custom conversion. We're going to set up all that shit on, ne on our next call. Perfectly. Yeah. And now I, uh, I, I know what, what needs to be done. Great. Sounds good. My friend sounds good. So that, that right there is, is our 